trying to do, somebody go. Hey. I just let the music come from my soul so all of my people can stay on the floor. They got a brand new dance. You got to move your muscles. Brand new dance. Huh? It's called a Cupid Shuffle. Hey. It don't matter if you're young or you're old. Good morning, Woodgate. I am Mackenzie Parker. And I'm Haley Blake. And this is News 52 this morning. To start off today, please stand for the pledges and the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Not very weather. Currently, it is 69 degrees with cloudy skies. Today, the high will be 74 degrees with clouds all day. This week, look for much cooler temperatures for the first full week of fall. Now for sports with Haley. Thank you, Mackenzie. Now for your sports. In college football, 16-ranked Baylor defeated Oklahoma State 35-24. In the SEC, 10th ranked Texas A&M defeated 17th ranked Arkansas, 45 to 24. 6th ranked Houston demolished Texas State, 64 to 3. In the NFL, the Bears lost to the Cowboys, 31 to 17, and the 49ers lost to the Seahawks, 18 to 37. That's all for sports. Now for today in history. Today in 1957. Musical Play West Side Story opened in, on Broadway. Students, don't forget that Steve Harpster is coming to school today. We'll have an assembly, so make sure you're on your best behavior. Speaking of Steve Harpster, we have him here with us today on News 52. Hey, good morning, Woodgate. I'm here with the Steve Harpster. Uh, he's going to be doing an awesome presentation for all of our school today. Matter of fact, aren't you here for all of Midway? Yes, yes, I'm going to be here all week long. That's fantastic. Yeah. So get in a, in a real good taste of what Midway is like. So, but one thing we're not going to get to uh, hear from him is just a little bit of stuff about you, kind of what makes you go, why you chose, what things. So, first of all, where are you really, truly from? I am really from Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, actually, Columbus, Ohio. I just moved okay. to Cincinnati, Ohio about four years ago. So, okay. I'm really a Columbus, Ohio. Awesome. So is that where you do all your work and mostly? Stay? Mostly, but I travel all over. I'll, uh, I'll be back in Texas again. I'll be at Katy, Texas in February, and then I'm going to be in Wisconsin, and a uh, good chance I'll be up to the Michigan, and uh, all over Ohio. Too. Man, goodness. Yeah. So you travel a lot. I got <laughs> I the frequent flyer miles. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, what made you get started drawing? When I was a kid, I had a really hard time uh, reading and writing stories. Uh, I was a little slow in that area, so drawing was my way of communicating and expressing a whole entire story just with uh, pictures. Uh, luckily though, my mom really uh, pushed me to read and, and to excel at that, and I went from the lowest reading group in first grade to nearly uh, being held back to actually the highest reading group in second grade wow. and became a very avid reader. So That's awesome. Go mom. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how our parents can push us to, right. to reach That's great right. things. Uh, what is your favorite thing to draw of the of everything you've done? What's your favorite thing to draw? Oh, I love. I would say subject matter. I love drawing monsters and made up creatures, just very strange things. I really like to use my imagination, try and draw things that have never been seen before. Yeah. Awesome. Well, last question for you before we go. Uh, what is the biggest obstacle that you've overcame? 
to go from just someone who likes to draw and who has these really cool creations to actually being a published author to be out there to being who you are I think today. it's your brain puts these roadblocks there. They, it's easy to say something's impossible, something you can't do, um, until you do it. You really do have to try and push yourself and you're gonna run into more and more obstacles and roadblocks. In fact, every day I still have that problem. But I know from my past experience that I can get through those. And so that's the hardest thing, is just pushing yourself. Get over those roadblocks in your mind. That's really the time. Awesome. To say. Well, thank you so much yeah. for your time, Mr. Harpster. Thank you. Now, Ms. Hare is going to tell us a little bit about some books that we have uh, the opportunity to purchase. So, Ms. Hare? Okay, we are so excited. Steve is here. Mr. Harpster is here. Um, and uh, as most of you know through your reading classes, we are selling his books so that you have an opportunity to continue drawing the things you will start to draw today with him. His books, and teachers, I want you to listen up on this one. These are incredible Christmas birthday gifts. Um, we'll have them for sale in the library. We have little order forms. I'll sell them all this week. They'll be on sale at the <coughs> book festival, but why not get them now? You can pay and take your book home. Um, I bought one for my granddaughter's birthday this week. She's gone through the whole book and wants all the rest of them. So there's six different titles. Um, come by the library, stock up on them. Um, students, you can see me during your reading classes to get your order forms or to turn in your money. Great Woodgate behavior today for our assemblies and see you soon. That's all for today. Thanks for watching News 52. Have, Have a great, great day, day everyone.